Forceville. This is Tumblr user Protagica, aka Rachel. I am here with Ashathani. And this is the Randy Danny Ninja Show Special Summer Edition. Hooray! Ah, so quenchy. I'm gonna put in a bunch of <clears throat> summary sound effects in post production. Okay. Okay. So, uh, let's uh, discuss the episodes. Uh, Just for the record, you guys, we did this already and then lost it because I'm an idiot. So it's gonna be a little awkward. Nothing we can't fix with the power of editing. So we got a couple um, filler episodes here, kind of a preview to the second season. It's so pretty Which though. I... They're so pretty. <laughs> the animation and the colors, the lighting. They really use yeah, the Yeah, yeah, I the noticed heat. that. With the, they really did the sunlight thing. Like there's a shot where um Brandy and Howard are go are on the, the shame escalator <laughs> and when they go uh, you know, under the under, in the tunnel the light changes. Yeah, it's cool. I like how they do that. It's cool. The attention to detail. So again, Strangely, these episodes seem to focus more on uh, McFist and Viceroy than on Randy and Howard. Can you blame them though? McFist and Viceroy are hilarious. It's true, but still in my book, this is a chief criticism. I come I to watch the Randy and Howard show that sort of has a ninja in it. Who are these people? My, my, my big criticism is, is my big criticism is not enough Howard, but everything else is fine. I mean, whatever Randy does, it's like, Whatever. <laughs> Howard. I felt so bad for Howard in these episodes. Oh, especially especially the like the water slide one. I feel like the but main the, the main point of the whole show is that this whole ninja thing is ruining Howard's life. It's just everything goes bad for him. <laughs> I don't know. He seems to have more accepted it. He has I guess it's kind of an on and off thing. But I mean we sorta of saw this in like uh the lost lost Namacon or whatever. But he's like, yeah, Randy, you go on ahead and do that ninja thing. I'll just be over here. Just, like, cheerfully being alone. And, like, oh, it's so sad. I have uh, issues project. being alone. <laughs> Befriending birds and wild animals. So whatever. He's, like, no, he's, like, following that bird. With, like, just carrying his bag of bread up to, like, the roof of a building. Just, like, come on, bird. Don't leave me. Like, oh, Jesus Christ. Right, Randy sucks. Ah, mm. He does. He does. Boom, Randy. How dare you? No, <laughs> he just does everything. <laughs> he 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 breaks the the slide, and then he's the surprised. Slide. He's surprised that people people are upset. Randy's like, well, Howard's like, we ruined their day. And he's like, we well, know yeah, we did it. <laughs> what? Right, right. Their, their reactions, like this, is sort of, you know, the, the prototypical. Brandy and Howard interaction. They do the thing, and Howard's like, yeah, we ruined everyone's day. It worked out for us. And Randy's like, wait, what? What? I don't understand how this could have happened. All those miserable people on the elevator, what? Uh, and, and he What's could only... Even though he, he's the nicer guy and he cares, he could only care for, like, a few minutes. <laughs> he only care in, like, a very abstract sense. Like, even if he's surrounded by unhappy people, his, like, classmates, he doesn't get it. But then he, like, is separated from it, and someone's, like, actively telling him that the citizens are sad. He's like, but I'm a hero. Citizen can't be sad. It's <laughs> an idea. That's, you know, they, this is how they do things. Like, oh, we're too afraid to go on the slide. Hmm, better destroy it. Better just, I, lo I love that they, I just recently I realized, you know, in, it occurred to me how the plot went. It's like they destroyed it because they didn't want to ride it. But in the end, they're they're pretty much the only kids who got to ride it. Yeah. <laughs> and they had fun and they enjoyed it. And it's so I know. Randy, he's kind of a lot like cuter as the ninja, in as much as like he's like he's like he's on the slide, and it's he's like I'm so scared. This is so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> Hanging out with Viceroy and McQuist because he's such a kid, I know, so I always. Know. Just I love when he's like, he 
he's like, what got under that thing's skin? And McFist is like, non-moisture. And then he giggles. He does. He does with him and he's like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> no, I love how awkward it is with it. He runs with him and he's like, oh, my mortal enemies. And McFist is just like, oof, yeesh, oof. <laughs> Mm, uh, it's not even a those we're more interactions are so great <laughs> they are like i think like the one in um uh, the safari episode like that narrows it down you know fartopia with the the brother mcfist's brother or whatever terry and then at the end of it he's like oh, McFist, i'm gonna fight you and mcfist is like no not no. today, ninja. <laughs> no, like he's like, I'll get you for this ninja. He's like, for saving you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's consistent. Yeah, I give him that. Just doesn't know how to react. I think. <laughs> it's really. This episode really was like. First of all, not summer. They never say summer. They just said it's really hot. Wait. Could be anything. Could be global warming. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's a heat wave is what they said, which is like, first of all, we don't even know where Norrisville is. If it's in, you know, California, you know, fake Jap- Japan, California. Did they get winter in California? Episode, actually, well, with all the heat waves and the wildfires. <laughs> and just was on point. It could be. <laughs> well, they get winter in California? Did they get snow? The answer guess... to that question is shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just it's just whatever environment they want it to be. Just travels. So, <laughs> moves yeah, up and down the small... hemisphere. I, I love sort of like the idea of, you know, like Norrisville being in Florida, just because like Norrisville is so horrible and <laughs> Florida is so horrible. <laughs> Could be. Just and swamp guys. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> swamp guys who live in the swamp. <laughs> yeah, um, probably Florida. <laughs> anyway, this definitely was a very, like, not just that it was filler, but it seems very appropriate in a certain way. That it airs? It's like an in between production type of thing. Like, really, this episode is just about. Big Fist and Viceroy, and then Randy and Howard just, like, dicking around, <laughs> not doing anything particularly, like, plot relevant, just, like, a day in the life. Like, yeah. what are they up to? What are they up to? How much destruction can people cause just hanging around? <sighs> God right, me. right, and that's sort of, like, what's great about that, you know, fl- flumigation episode or whatever, is that <laughs> it's Randy and Howard's meaningless fuck up is like directly related to McFist and Viceroy's meaningless fuck up I know like, like it, this wouldn't have happened if they hadn't made a shark that's con- co- constantly itchy and then put it under a <laughs> lake <laughs> and of course the shark wouldn't have been freed if Randy and Howard hadn't you know no, but no, I don't understand Why? how I don't understand how them refilling the lake they were refilling the lake and then Randy broke the, the flume so the lake just instantly drained away like <laughs> cartoon, not, cartoon not device, yeah. Whatever, the problem. Here's the problem. Uh, I don't want to talk about it, but we have to. That, like, with the lotion. The lotion. <laughs> but why? Because. I, if nobody wanted this. I mean, I mean, I guess like somebody wanted this. It wasn't me though. <laughs> I can safely say I did not ask for this. No, but that's the great thing about ninja shows. It can make you happy, it can make you confused, it can make you sad for uh, for Howard, but most of all, it can make you disgusted. <laughs> it can it's make you true. feel really embarrassed and awkward while you're staring at the screen. You're like, geez, I, I kind of want to look away right now, but I don't want to miss anything. <laughs> What's my motivation? Mm. You want to make everybody really uncomfortable. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, that's what I do. I'm a cartoon writer. <laughs> that's my job. <laughs> it's so. With that scene, was it just. I couldn't even tell if it was like. They want to piss the monster off to make it like more effective at destruction. And so they're like kind of, you know, showing off the lotion. Or is it like, hmm, 
we have this lotion here and we can't give it to the monster. So we I better just use it ourselves. I think, I think a little it, montage. I think it was the second one because otherwise they would have looked at the monster. You know, it would have been a little bit more obvious. So they were just like really into moisturizing each other. <laughs> Because that's his shirt open, vice versa, <laughs> put an ocean on his chest. I love how, like, spiteful Viceroy is all the time. He is, you know, oh my god. He's like, well, Hannibal, you told me to make the most irritated monster, so I made this, this skin shark thing. It's so ashy and upset. Like, you're just... In fact, that kind of, like, leads into the pool episode really well. Because Big Sis is like, you know what, Viceroy, these things are terrible. <laughs> he does. Actually, you know what? The fist has a point. What the heck is, what, what, a polar bear? And you let it out in the summer? <laughs> What's going on, Viceroy? You're not really on the ball. <laughs> you gotta work a bit harder. <laughs> like a um, camel monster, I would have got like, that. It's, I love having a job where you can do what you love. Like you, working for me, right, Viceroy? Uh, and Viceroy just, like, looks away. <laughs> uh, so funny. Uh, okay, we didn't talk about, um... Mort! Mort. My new husband. Yes. Mort. You love him. He's so afraid. He's so, so afraid. Cool. He's so naturally afraid that I understand. Life is scary. You're an adult. You have two perfect children. You have to keep them happy. You have to keep them happy at every cost. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think that Mort was originally, like, normal. And then, like, having a Howard just... <laughs> You know, I don't Howard's know. So Howard's like, not that pushy. I feel like Howard's kind of a result of Howard. The uh, Howard's the result of somebody trying to make him happy a lot. So he kind of expects he expects this treatment. <laughs> when he doesn't get it, he gets upset. Oh, because I don't feel like Howard's the kind of guy to push people a lot because he's kind of lazy. So I don't know. Uh, I get he, he does whine. He whines, but he doesn't. <laughs> Uh, I like I like I like the I like the segment when Howard calls Raddy to tell him about like the, how awesome the pool is gonna be so so that he takes a dive and he just she just makes up the, there's this mud patch yeah, with Howard yeah. he's glowing like golden god and he's like oh the pool <laughs> <laughs> uh, the pool you can go swimming go underwear <laughs> you kids are so gross <laughs> I do I. My, some of my favorite scenes in, like, any show are when, like, there's an action scene and the characters are, like, talking on the phone. Yeah. They talk on the phone a lot in this show, so... You, I you, know. You. I love it. <laughs> like, Randy, he's, like, he sees this, this robot and he's like, oh, my God. I gotta tell Howard right now. <laughs> he's, like, calling him up. He's like, this thing... I can't not destroy it. <laughs> if I leave it alone, it's gonna destroy itself. <laughs> and it's just such a cute, sad-looking robot with like these big eyes, <laughs> but <laughs> bumping around into everything. Oh. <laughs> and then, I'm, of course, as soon as the ninja explodes, everyone thinks he's dead. Oh no, he's gone. Right, citizens of Norrisville, like actual infants, do not have any object permanence. As long as they don't see the ninja, he doesn't exist. Been destroyed. Ninja gun, ninja memorabilia yeah, goes up. For yeah, spike in the price of ninja memorabilia. <laughs> that hit me hard. I was like, oof, that's how you know. That's, that's how you know he's dead. <laughs> you just see the prices and you go, like, oh crap. <laughs> Ninja's gun, we're all doomed. Gotta buy I this like fast. Like, I like how that's part of the sorcerer's omniscience. <laughs> how does he know? <laughs> Misery, despair. You can smell the prices. Price of ninja merchandise. <laughs> Which, by the way, I want some ninja merchandise. I know, right? The bastards have their own merch. We don't. <laughs> I'm so jealous mm -hmm. of these fictional people. Disney pulls things from us. That's They're so cruel. Uh, background character got a name. Uh, I, I I got it, I got it before, now I forgot it, was it like Glenn? It was Glenn. Yeah, <laughs> it was a gross kid called Glenn, like, you've got to be just like him. <laughs> Nothing 
good can become of getting promoted to a speaking role in this show, if you think about it. Like, <laughs> first you have Doug, <laughs> who is like, it just, it just becomes somebody that everybody hates. Just like, no, you know what, basically, uh, the, the thing is, we, we, you get so curious about the background people, but if you do find out about them, they're basically all terrible people. Everybody knows them. They're just terrible <laughs> right, people. That's why, that's why Randy is the ninja, because everybody else was even worse. <laughs> Everyone was jerks, but he's like, at least somewhat unaware of his own jerkness, so... Yeah, he's got ninja. hair. He'll do. He'll do. <laughs> Ninja. <laughs> you also the book, right? And and also an AU where uh, Glenn is a ninja. It's like <laughs> picking his nose with his feet and eating it, kid. You leave boogers in the Namakon. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a surprise for the next ninja. Uh, no, Speaking like, of it, it yeah? was interesting. It seems pretty clear that um, the shark thing was conceived during a previous ninja's uh, era. Yeah, yeah, it seems like something that happened a long time ago. Maybe a few years, I don't know how many years. We can you imagine I this? Don't, I really want to see previous ninjas. Me too. I mean, we knew Matt and, you know, Finja, but... I don't know, my hopes aren't very high for it, which is a shame. I can imagine it in some kind of um, montage. Maybe. I want like, a montage it. of all the ninjas that died. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like a quick montage of ninjas getting crushed by things, and they're like different designs for ninjas. You can get excited about them, like, oh, look at that one, he's dead, look at that one. Yeah, here's some ninjas we'll never see again. <laughs> Bam! Died in the volcano that did Norrisville. Bam! Crushed in a building! Boo! Eaten by a monster! <laughs> All these guys, dead! Have fun, Rando. Have fun, Rando. You're gonna, you're gonna be the one who I makes it. I love that, like, the whole plot of the pool episode was just, like, McFist and Rice were having, like, a petty argument. Yeah, I know. They just drag this poor guy and they're like, hey, build this. And he's like, okay. And then he's like, why did I say yes? I could have said no. It was so cute. <laughs> he had a world's Bruce's dad mug and he had like pictures of his kids. And, and he stuff. broke it. I love that. <laughs> he grabbed Howard, it. Howard's like parroting that tree. <laughs> <laughs> poor Howard. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, I was so glad to see um, Gene Levine again. I know. He's That's great. He's great. Character voice. I love him. <laughs> like, well, I never built a pool before. <laughs> I love him interrupting Howard. He's like, you gotta die. You should wait till I put water in front. He's like, get out of my business, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is still not my favorite shot. My favorite shot because I rewatched it right, like right after I watched it. It's like my favorite shot is just that that construction shovely thing just scooping up the water again at the end of the episode. Yes, yes. It's like, but we gotta, re oh, I lost the promotion, so we have to return the pool. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna destroy it. I don't want this, because you gotta let Howard at least jump in the pool. You had to stop him with that, with that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Sorry, kid. Since we lost the funding, we're not even allowed to look at those screens. <laughs> oh. He's like, you're not disappointed in me, are you? And he's like, no, I'm disappointed in cutting him. And he's like, so long as you're not disappointed in me. <laughs> okay. Close call. You really, you could have had Howard be upset at you. That would have been the worst. <laughs> oh, man. I love that he doesn't even, like, look for explanation on that. Like, why would he be upset at Randy in this scenario? Hmm. No, you know what? This this is must Randy must be such a like a gift to him because like every time people could be mad at him, they're probably mad at Randy. <laughs> Randy's just a necessary evil in this universe. Just like <laughs> soaking like all up the all the blame. Like, <laughs> hit iron filing to a magnet, thus sparing the rest of the town. Yeah. What cost? He just. Oh, I was uh, saying how whiny Randy is. He is. <laughs> but it's it's too hard to be the ninja. Yeah. Uh, the Nomicon didn't do much in these episodes. Yeah, yeah. It, it was I think really... it only gave like a 
Did it even give like a little like fortune cookie thing? You know what? It gave him a fortune cookie after he did the thing. Uh, <laughs> I think in both of them. I can't remember now. I've tried to remember. Uh, One of them was about the right, right, this is difficult, the, the the hard path and the easy path, the hope or whatever. I don't know. He seems much much more cavalier about ignoring it now. I know. He's just like I kind of like the thing. <laughs> he's just like forget it. <laughs> I'm not doing this. I kind of like to think that it's because he met uh, First Ninja. Oh, yeah, he, maybe. Like, has the authority to do that. It's like, now he, the book isn't, like, any mysterious anymore. Like, it's just some, like, dude with, a, like, a ponytail screaming at him from 800 <laughs> years in the past. <laughs> yeah, a dude couldn't even talk right. You can't even understand. <laughs> it's not my fault I don't understand. <laughs> And he, you know, he's still, still classic ninja show, Randy deliberately misinterpreting. Oh. Yes, exactly. It would have been, I'm taking the hard path. It would, would right, right. <laughs> it would have been so, so difficult to go down those stairs, the, the, the escalator, the shame escalator. Yeah, that would have, he said that would have made the whole four years of his high school really hard. And I'm like, come on, people don't even pay attention to you guys long enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just those those two, those two gross freshmen, gross freshman couple. <laughs> Which, I that, uh, I actually, I kind of get like like unsettled whenever they mention like the fact that there's more high school for them to do. Cause because they're gonna get... you know be like perma permanent ninth graders. Yeah, I know they'll never get there. It's just it's just like, a distant like, dream. Oh, you know. Uh, of course people ignore us. We're freshmen. You should get used to it. It's like, you're always going to be freshmen. Uh, oh, my God. I don't know. It's normal for me because I always watch cartoons. So, to me, the, the idea well, of, a, of a character stuck in the same state forever is, like, it's normal. <laughs> well, it is for me as well. I mean, I watch a lot of cartoons. And, like, I, you know, I keep have to think Simpsons why they're, you know, permanently. But I think... I don't know, I guess it's the, like, this, the nature of the cartoon. I mean, more shows have been incorporating continuity over the years, I guess. I feel like they're stuck, I feel like they could do the future thing, but they're stuck by their title. Like, if they, like, if they had <laughs> a different title, they could have done, gone a different way. Like, if they were just, like, Randy Cunningham, uh, High School Ninja, like, how, how it is in, like, yeah. other countries. No, no, then they could have gone four years, but now they, they're stuck in ninth grade because you can't change it. Okay, well, what's it called? Like a Super Ninja Gakuen? Gakuen Ninja, Ninja Randy. Gakuen Dude. Ninja Randy. Gakuen Ninja Randy. I love it because <laughs> it sounds so anime. <laughs> I know. It's very anime child. Yeah. It is anime hail. <laughs> no, Jai's in kind like, of... Like, I love that those, like, those, um... Those plastic uh, cups have like these like big uh, like chibi eyes. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, they're so weird. <laughs> they're so cute though. <laughs> ninja big eyes. Well, he, he kind of has bigger eyes as the ninja, or is it just me? They're just like huge. He, he's just. No, I, he looks like a little alien. Because it would it would make sense if he did, in as much as they kind of have to have all his emoting with the eyes. Yeah, I think he does, though. I think also when Howard was the ninja, his eyes were bigger. Kind of, just a little bit. Well, we better go check that as soon as this is over. Yeah, yeah, we should, like, overlay. Write, like, a comment in the in the description of the podcast of the show. Like, edit! We were incorrect! The compared <laughs> model size is that, in fact, the eyeballs are, like, 1.2% smaller. I don't know. What the heck? As we here at the Randy Dan and Ninja Show are dedicated to accuracy about this stupid fucking cartoon, <laughs> which I love dearly. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh man, I can't. I can't even. Did just... Randy? Oh, did, did Randy in fact jump over the shark in this episode? I still. I forgot to check again. I. I. I, I think he did. I'm not sure now. <sighs> He must I should have been thinking about it. I, I, I guess they want, like, the, the bad omen on their hands. And, you know, I don't know. I'm, I was surprised he could push that, pull that thing away from McPist and Viceroy. It's so big. How strong is his ninja power? Is he, like, Spider-Man strong? Superman strong? 
I, I need to right, know. Right. Scale, it's really right. inconsistent because sometimes you can't carry other things. I sort of think it's inconsistent. It is. You know? He can carry Howard outside of his suit, but one time in his suit he had trouble lifting him. <laughs> it's logical, you know. It's like uh, at the beginning, you know, that, that like band, the case for music, musical instruments like fell on him. He's like, oh, I'm going to drop it. Like, you're a ninja. Drop it. You're the ninja. You can, you can, you can pick up sharks the size of whales. It's fine. It's fine. Right. <laughs> just, just arbitrary, arbitrary ninja powers. I mean, I wonder if that little exploding thing appears is like introduced in another episode. The tiny exploding when he blows ninja. Blows up the slide. Yeah. I don't know. Probably not. It feels like a one. Just, I love when he. You know, sometimes they make like a big deal about introducing new items, like new new ninja balls or whatever. And other times he just like has stuff. I think it depends know? on just what level of gag they are. Like if they are yeah. not a gag, like they're serious part. <laughs> still, still the best item, ninja stalling wedge. <laughs> That's the most important weapon. The one they'll use to defeat the sorcerer. Stall him right. in his hole. <laughs> it's true for another 800 years. It's about the first People have been door. pointing out the sorcerer has like different colors. Like I think maybe they colored him wrong because he's kind of had inverted colors. His lips color or his skin yeah, color. Yeah, yeah. I, I noticed he looked kind of strange. Do you know... Is he like Tim Curry again? Or no, is Tim no. Curry he's still? obviously not Tim Curry. I know because Tim Curry is a big part of my soul. And he sounds so different now. He sounds really he different. Sound like Tim Curry. I'm like, well, maybe the operation or whatever. Poor Tim Will Curry. Tim Curry be returning as the sorcerer is my question. I don't know. Like, I know if you, like... I don't know anything about strokes. He had a stroke. So how how long is he going to be out? For? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Maybe That's better for him to... Like, tragic. He might yeah, not... it was weird that the sorcerer was colored differently. I wonder if that... I don't... I can't imagine it was an error. Like, this is not the stage to be making errors. We're, we're into season two here. I don't know. You can make errors. Um, I like that the rat had, like, a little cup. Yeah, he was drinking water. <laughs> it was so hot. It's hot down there. They have they have a ton of shade. <laughs> Why would they be hot? <laughs> anyway. I love how, like, <laughs> the sorcerer just has all these, like, arbitrary props. Yeah, I, I like know, to assume like, the like, rats... Sure, it was nice of the first ninja to, like, toss a stool down there for us. <laughs> <I know. laughs> yeah, no, the nicest thing the first ninja did was leave, uh, like, this uh, the, engraving the engraving that describes how to get the key. <laughs> 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 Just in case he wanted to get out and stretch his legs. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a uh, like gravity foul. You gave him a break! <laughs> He's an employee! Sorta. Yeah. Uh, I am really looking forward to seeing some... More I Howard. I say it, better episodes. <laughs> you know? I just have a very high standard for this excellent program. I'll take anything. I just want more episodes. I want all the episodes. I want the episodes they, they hated, Randy the episodes Howard. they loved. Okay. I want more, yeah, I want Randy and Howard to hug. It's been a long time coming, like, they just, well, whatever. That's, that's, that's for another time. Yeah. Later, Norrisville. Bye.